red lights on red lights on hello everyone is Simon welcome back to simply snub thanks for joining me I'm still in Whitby nice look out over the sea lots of people in town lots of grockles yeah they're all here we just had a load of Japanese wandering into town we get lots of Japanese in the town because what you may not know is just down the road there's a place called Gothland and Gothland has a beautiful little railway station which is used in has been used as a station in the films or for Harry Potter that's it Harry Potter so you get all these Japanese guys coming in they all pile down into Gothland to the train station they're all hanging off their rafters all taking pictures oh you know oh <laughs> then they get them all on a coach run them up to Whitby they all pile off the coach they get the flag in the air yeah and we're all going for fish and chips to the magpie uh, the magpie cafe they have the fish and chips lovely lovely yeah yeah all back on flag on the on the bus and they all bugger off again perfect absolutely perfect so yeah we get a load of Japanese course it is Harry Potter country anyway that's not what I'm here for I'm here to tell you about this snuff this is Mullins and Wesley uh, keen centered I've got a bit of this going on and uh, sorry I'll take my hat off Sorry if I'm looking a bit rough, but I've just been on my walk about. Had a rake of red wine last night. <laughs> Mrs. M's away, so, uh, you know, I don't get the old... Uh, Do you know, Simon, you, you've drunk a whole bottle of red wine. <laughs> no, I didn't realise, love. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> that will never do. So anyway, she's not here, so I can plug it. I had a bottle, bottle last night. <laughs> Plugged it double quick time. She's coming back tomorrow, so I've got to get home and clear all the bottles out of the cottage before she finds out <laughs> how much I've been drinking. <laughs> back on the straight and narrow tomorrow. Anyway, we've got some Mullins and Wesley. Keen centred. I think it was a recipe from uh, G Smith's that were down in London. I'm not sure. If you look on the internet, you might find it, but... They were either based in Covent Garden or in Soho. I don't know which, but I think they finally must have gone into uh, out of business. And um, the recipes, I think, transfer to these guys, Mullins and Wesley, uh, which are based at Seagars down at Covent Garden in London. So it's so it all goes around, doesn't it? And they've got this uh, this particular uh, uh, recipe for Keen Centred. Dates back to God knows when. It's a very traditional snuff. Uh, I have tried it. I've been on it the last couple of days. I thought I'd give it a go. Um, let's uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, it's just starting to rain a little bit. Hope I don't get my hair wet. <laughs> there you go, pals. Look at that blowing all of it shop. I haven't got my snuff paddle. <laughs> you know, I'm going to use my snuff paddle, but I don't want I don't want it blowing off my snuff paddle. <laughs> you don't want your snuff paddle blowing off, do you? <laughs> oh, I love my gags. <laughs> yeah, it's fine grind, look at that. But there's plenty of moisture in it. Oi! Straight up the outer, absolute. Oh, man. Man, that tobacco. That's what you're getting. You get a bit of it out of the tin. It's earthy. It's sweet. It's a fine medium grind. I don't think it's I don't think it's uh, stacked with menthol. I'd say it's probably a medium type uh, um, nicotine. Sorry, nicotine in it. It's a medium, medium. Yeah, probably a medium nicotine. But it's definitely a fine grind. You, you'll see it. it's blowing all over the shop. And uh, yeah, but there's plenty of moisture in it. Clumps lovely. Can you see that blowing around? absolute delight I'm telling you lovely tobacco strong earthy and then you get a sweetness drifting through then you get that menthol and you get that eucalyptus and it just sits in your nose oh absolutely crazy absolutely delightful oh bloody Nora that's good oh there's no camphor or anything in it just loads of menthol and the eucalyptus and that rich 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 tobacco that sweetness that earthy flavor I mean that carries it all through 
you know, it gives it a starting point and then the menthol and eucalyptus come swinging in behind. Absolutely bloody fantastic. I think that's, oh. Oh, mate. Honestly. Oh. That is absolutely bloody rampant. Honestly. That's not for the faint-hearted. That really does rock it. Absolutely. That will rock your world, mate. Absolutely rock it. Hi, kids. All right. Absolutely rock it. Sorry, I'm getting surrounded by admirers. They think I'm somebody famous. You know, I, I do have a look at Tom Cruise, I must admit. You know, and <laughs> yeah, they probably think I'm Tom Cruise. I'm short enough to be Tom Cruise. <laughs> Anyway, look. Here, look. Are you getting it? It's just blowing all over. It's just blowing everywhere. Look at it. Got it. Camera's rocking a bit as well. Oh, mates, mates, mates. Keen scented, as I say, it's a G Smith recipe. And I, I think it's, it might be Charing Cross, actually. I'm not sure. Have a look up on the internet. But it's, it's one of Mullins and Wesley's finest. I've never tried this before, it's brand new to me, brand new, you've probably tried it, I have no idea, but if you're a menthol lover, you will absolutely love this stuff, take my word for it, you will absolutely love it, it's a fine, it's a fine grind, plenty of moisture in it, clumps beautifully, pinches, real treat, the tobacco you're getting out of it, that sweetness, that earthiness, oh, it just pulls the whole thing together, and then you get that belt of menthol and eucalyptus, it's to absolutely die for. If you like menthols like I do, you'll absolutely bloody love this. So that's it, lads. Keem Centred, Mullins and Wesley. If you haven't had it, it's it's a big tin. It's, I think it's a 25 gram tin, and it's not cheap. It's not cheap. But I'll tell you, it's worth every single bloody penny you pay for it. Get, oh, I've got to have one more. Oh. Oh. Hallelujah. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. <sighs> right, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Give us some likes, uh, subscribes, whatever. And uh, hey, as ever, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Chin chin.